what's cracking YouTube. I'm Brandon. Welcome to DaVinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide to drinking well and stinking pretty. This is the second edition of my 2020 Autumn Fragrances Niche High End Edition. Thank you so much for coming by to take a look. If you are new to my channel, please stick around to the end. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Love you guys. So the weather here has finally started to go on the downhill a little bit. The last couple weeks, it's been up to like 85 degrees. I mean, October 1st, 85 degrees. It's now finally like right around 66 degrees, a little bit more mellow. I'm feeling the fall a whole lot more. So I had every intention of making this list relatively small um, but fall and winter fragrances are my favorite and I tend to have a lot of them I shot for seven couldn't make it went for ten still couldn't make it but uh, I ended up with 12 so this is gonna be a 12 plus one it's a Baker's dozen everybody loves Baker's dozen right without further ado we're going to start with my plus one which is something that I don't have a full bottle of and that is the Cobra and the Canary from imaginary authors this has a really nice little bit of citrus nice little bit of orris kind of gives it that substantial sort of feel slightly leathery and it gives the impression of dropping gears and laying rubber from a local Portland house that is imaginary authors the Cobra and the Canary as my plus one. First full bottle on this list is from Atelier des Ors, and this is Repousel des Ames. There's this kind of slightly metallic feel. It's not gross or, uh, you know, smelling like blood or anything like that. It just gives it this nice little zing. Cardamom, red pepper, like that, uh, those little pepadil peppers, uh, the pickled ones, oh, so good. Settles into a nice woody, vanillic incense vibe, giving it this sort of airy quality and it's elevated by Horatium. The way that I'm doing this list, by the way, is pretty much exactly like uh, the way that I did my designer list for 2020 autumn. And that is we're gonna start with stuff that, you know, transports you from summer into fall, a little bit lighter stuff in the beginning, darker stuff towards the end. So again, my very first full bottle on this list is Atelier de Ors Crepucel des Ames. Next up on this list, every time I smell it, I get transported back to New York City during Scent Explorer when I was there. I got to meet a ton of amazing people. JC from uh, Stay Fresh Productions, Andrea from Curly Scents, Glenn from Mr. Cologne 76, of course, Chris from Fragmental, who I spent time with in uh, the Parfums de Marley Boutique, where I got to meet Yvonne, and that is why I have Kellan from Parfums de Marley. Little bit, of, like small amount of citrusy sweetness in the beginning. Uh, kind of a woody tonka depth but the thing that's most prevalent for me with this is this nice pepper vibe it's super fresh super green but at the same time has this really intense kind of grounded and earthy feel i personally do not get uh the uh, correlation with this and Baccarat Rouge 540. They don't smell anything like to me. This one stands out on its own. Again, Calan from Parfums de Marley. Coming up next is the most ballsy blind buy I have ever participated in to this date. Didn't know anything about it. Went into it 100% like, hey, let's give it a shot. That is Squid from Zoologist Perfumes. Now, if you know me and you know my channel, you know how much I love Zoologist. It's inky, ambery. It's a stroll down the boardwalk, beachside, full sun in the sky, setting down, has this faint caramel corn kind of appeal. It's fantastically salty and by far, bar none, my favorite aquatic of every aquatic I've ever tried. That's Squid from Zoologist Perfumes. Up next is a wonderfully unique and at the same time, highly affordable, wonderfully appealing and wonderfully unisex fragrance and that is Gravitas Pour Om. Opens up with this very ethereal citrusy sweetness, very, very gorgeous citrusy sweetness. Dries to this nice patchouli woodiness, even though there are no woods that I know of that were put into this uh, mixture. Has a wonderful amount of heft to it from the patchouli and the oak moss but it's not soapy like most fougeres that I've experienced. So to me, this is a very modern take. It's a really great fragrance presented to all of us by Matt Wilson and Dan Naughton. This is Gravitas Poro. As a construction worker, I get a kick out of this next one on the list. Uh, you know, I work around with a lot of different trades and to me, I guess the best way for me to describe this would be a uh, overweight Sparky. Uh, you might know it as Fat Electrician from uh, Eldo Etat Libra de Orange. One of my more favorite offerings from Eldo, it's, it's great. It's this strange mixture of uh, like a gourmandy, but not really gourmand and vetiver. And the two don't sound like they would normally really work out that well, but for some reason, this is fantastic. I have enjoyed the hell out of this uh, since I first tried it. I mean, literally got a sample and immediately went out and bought this bottle. I really urge you to try it out for yourself to see how it jives with you. For me, it's amazing. Fat Electrician from Eldo. 
So this next one, when I first smelled it in Fumery, the perfume shop in uh, Portland on Division, check it out if you haven't had a chance. I will link uh, their website down below because I love Tracy and I love her staff and it's a great place to go. But this has so many different things going on in it. And I really didn't know what to think when I first uh, smelt it, but I knew I had to have it. It's Times Square from Mask Milano. It is so unique. Uh, it's very fruit forward. Uh, very waxy, very playful in uh, texture and ethereality, but it has this kind of gothic, dark underbelly to it, um, almost kind of a, a smoky, wispy note. Amazing bottles, by the way. I mean, check these things out if you're into presentation. These are sexy as hell. But to me, this kind of evokes uh, the image of, you know, honestly, uh, in New York, a quote-unquote walk of shame, but a person doing it with zeal, with no shame, doing it with purpose. It's like a walk of purpose after a wonderful and crazy and amazing night. So that is Times Square from Mask Milano. So I discovered this one kind of randomly. I went into a shop in Portland and saw that they had um, fragrances from this house and I smelt it and I loved it, bought the bottle. This is Woody Mood from Olfactive Studio. Olfactive Studio does kind of this thing where they, they work with perfumers and photographers. It's kind of a blending of the two to create the imagery uh, and the experience of the fragrance. This is from one of my favorite perfumers out there Absolutely stellar perfumer, Bertrand Duchefort. This to me is a heartfelt run or stroll through uh, leaves strewn sycamore forests, hiking or running or walking along with uh, your guest, if you know what I'm saying, and the two of you collapse in the leaves and underneath the trees with the sun and, and the wood and the, and the wood, definitely the wood, and just holding each other in this sweet embrace as you forget time and all of life's troubles just float away. Combining together with those woods, uh, it has almost kind of a chocolatey incense and a nice little bit of a leather kick to it. Woody Mood, Olfactive Studio, so good. Check it out if you haven't had a chance. This next one up is from Francesca Bianchi, my perfume muse total fanboy not sure what i'd do if i ever met her in person this one is sticky fingers this is sweet delicious boozy kisses on a lazy saturday morning that slowly turn into sweaty sheets and sticky fingers patchouli tobacco tonka orris and sandalwood sweetness a nice little leather bite. I mean, what's not to love, right guys? Once again, that is Sticky Fingers from Francesca Bianchi. Back by popular demand is the Whiskey Break, but since we are talking about uh, upper level fragrances, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this with our pinkies out. <laughs> Up next is another local house. This is Sova from Slumber House. This is like an apricot and a maro and whiskey cocktail. This is Southern hospitality on the back porch, overlooking the hayfields with a bowl full of peach cobbler. This is friggin' fantastic. Super dark juice, super long lasting, super projecting. The biggest factor here though is that it has a lot of depth and it's super complex and it's awesome. That's Sova from Slumber House. Now here we are in my backyard apple tree behind me, what could be a more fitting place to talk about rosé all day from Gallagher Fragrances. This is a gorgeous autumn banger, you guys. Apple notes galore, a little bit of plum fruit, this nice sweet little brown sugary kick. Uh, there's rose in this, but it's not, it's not like super overpowering. Like it's, it's definitely like a supporting character. It, it lends a certain amount of strength and lift to this. And I got to tell you, there is this like stainless steel tank note. So this makes me think about hanging out uh, in a cider brewery. I haven't spent a lot of time in cider breweries, but I have spent a little bit of time in cider breweries. And I'm telling you, uh, hard cider, yeah, this is, this is like, it nails it. It nails the experience of uh, sitting there next to these big tanks, having a sip. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing autumn fragrance. If you like apple and you like it with depth, but you don't like it over sweet, this is it. Rosé all day, Gallagher Fragrances. Up next is a fragrance that I pretty much feel like it was made for me. This is Rook by Rook Perfumes. This to me is me spending a night out in the woods next to a fire, laying on the ground, no tent, just a pack, huddling close to the fire for warmth, waking up that next day, putting my gun back in my shoulder holster, putting on my leathers, breaking camp, getting back on my motorcycle, and hitting the open road again. It's smoky, it's medicinal, 
It's earthy, just a touch of sweetness, leathery and wild. This is a Gangrel Moonchild's fragrance. Fucking amazing, Rook from Rook Perfumes. Coming to the final fragrance on this list, this is autumn. This is all things about autumn, and this is such an experience for me. <laughs> this is Bervuvu from January Scent Project. Look, there are three different kinds of cedar in here. There is this uh, like forest mushroom note. The juice is so dark. Do not put this on a white shirt or sweater. Notice I sprayed on my wrist. This is so incredibly transportative. Takes me to so many places, takes me into the woods, takes me on a long hike, takes me into a sake brewery, sipping sake next to the cedar tanks. I had every intention of uh, bringing a little bottle of uh, cedar aged sake as kind of like a, hey, hey, you know, prop for, for this um, list, but I didn't get out and get it. Maybe when I do the full review of this, Holy shit, this is fantastic. Um, go to January Scent Project, go to their website, link in it down below, order the discovery kit, you will not be sorry. Fantastic, artistic, and so different. That is Bervuvu from January Scent Project. Guys, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around. That is the autumn list, the final autumn and fall list, niche uh, high-end edition for the year 2020. I know it's been a crazy year and the weather is weird, but hey, let's enjoy the hell out of these beautiful colors and spending time with each other or even by yourself next to the fire pit in your backyard. Again, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you're new to my channel, uh, please, if you enjoyed this, uh, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for the like. Uh, if you think I'm dumb, hit the thumbs down. I understand. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to mash the shit, kill the shit out of that notification bell so you know when I drop future videos. And you know what, I'd love it if you told your friends and your friends' friends and those friends' sisters about Da Vinci's Alchemist. Here we go with my favorite time of the year, everyone. Hopefully you have a wonderful autumn, a wonderful fall. Please take care of yourselves and each other. No matter where you are, no matter where you're going, don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty, and I'll see you on the next video.